This project is sponsored by PCBWA. This year, PCBWA is celebrating the 10th anniversary of its successful existence. On the occasion of this event, PCBWA provided its users with more conveniences such as big savings for certain products as well as discount of up to 80%. Log into the PCBWay site and start the PCBWay 10th anniversary tour. Well, you will enjoy, enjoy coupons, lucky draw, exclusive badges, unboxing blind boxes, and many other surprises. PCBWay is always your great choice. Hello, a finder scope is a small auxiliary telescope mounted on the main telescope to help locate and center objects in the main telescope. The finder scope provides a wider field of view, making it easier to locate objects in the night sky. However, finding the desired object in the night sky is a very laborious task and requires a lot of time and patience, especially for beginning astronomers. This time I will present you a simple way to make an electronic finder scope that will drastically simplify the procedure for finding the desired object and will also minimize the time required for its operation so we will have more time for observation. observation. The project is presented on Dilshan J. Cody's blog and all credits go to him. The original project was made on a custom PCB that you can get on the PCBWay website. I modified the project in such a way that I used STM32 Blue Pill development board which is very cheap and also avoids the precise soldering on SMD components on the board. This device works work with Stellarium application and helps the observer identify objects in the sky. Stellarium Autobus is a free open source planetarium for PC and it shows a realistic sky in 3D. Uh, just like what you see with the naked eye, binocular or a telescope. All these are nice sky objects. This unit can be attached to the telescope and, connect and connects with the computer through the USB port of Blue Pill. Uh, the star pointer uses a few onboard sensors to determine its angle and position. After, after obtaining that information, the unit calculates the coordinate of the telescope and transfers those details to the Stellarium software. The device is relatively simple to make and consists of several components. STM32F103C8 Blue Pill Development Board, uh, ADXL345 uh, 3 axis accelerometer module, next HMC5883L magnetometer, CR2032 a 3 volts coin battery, uh, 32.768 kHz crystal, and USB to UART converter for update, updating firmware and testing purposes. The components are mounted on a PCB prototyping breadboard, which is then placed on a flat plastic base, suitable for mounting uh, on the telescope. The complete documentation is available on the wiki section of the GitHub repository from where we first need to download the compiled firmware binary starpointer.hex. Then the blue pill board should be connected to the PC via USB to UART converter as shown in the in this schematic diagram. To upload the firmware we use uh, STM uh, Cube programmer software 
which is free during which we need to switch the boot zero header from the zero position to one position and after that when we upload the firmware return it to the original position on the software we need to choose UART connection and select appropriate COM port next open file start pointer dot hex file and press download to to flash the firmware on the STM32 now optionally to check the functionality of the device we need to connect it to the PC as shown is in this diagram diagram for debugging purposes also I have a connector for that purpose now on some serial monitor software we, we should receive a message about the functioning of the sensors first we check the COM port of USB to UART it is COM4 now we, st we, uh, we start serial monitor I use ter free TeraTerm serial monitor I choose COM4 and set appropriate baud rate when I press the reset button I need to get this message that is proof for functioning of the device next we need, we need to connect blue pill USB port to PC USB port and check the the COM port, new COM port in device manager in our case that is COM port 5 STM microelectronics virtual COM port 5 uh, now from the release page uh, we download start pointer synchronization tool that is a utility that serves to change the date time date time location array and declination offsets as well as settings the correct local time in my case i live in Ohrid, macedonia now we need to select a correct com port on this software and press sync button sensor configuration updated successfully furthermore this data remains remembered thanks to the backup battery now if we go back to the serial monitor we can see that this data has been accepted longitude, latitude, date, etc. With this, the making of the device is completed and now we need to mount it on the telescope and connect it to the Stellarium software. Just to emphasize that the device should be mounted in the direction of the telescope tube for more accurate guidance to the desired object. For demonstration purposes, I will use my smallest Celestron first scope Dobsonian type telescope. Now a brief explanation of how to connect the device to the Stellarium software. This is Stellarium. First we go to the configuration window or F2. Uh, next plugins then telescope control 
Next, set up new telescope. Uh, we choose the name. For example, our name is Star Pointer. Uh, check equonics of the date. Next, serial port of the device. We know that it is COM5. Next, we need to choose device model. We need to choose MEADE LX200 compatible. And OK. And that's all. Now we need to start the telescope control. So start the telescope. Next we can point the telescope at the desired object in the sky. First let's see where is our telescope. So here is our star pointer. The movement of the telescope can be seen nicely in the Stellarium software.
And finally a short conclusion. This is a really simple and inexpensive project, especially useful for amateur astronomers, which drastically reduces the time to find the desired object in the night sky. Of course, uh, nowadays there are also Android and iOS applications for this purpose, but this specific device is uh, much more accurate, independent, but also the satisfaction is great when we use a device that we have made ourselves.